one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. It is cold out. It's nice out, but it's cold out. This truck is done. I got it last night. I'm thinking it's going to be okay. We shall see. I know this chrome looks absolutely beautiful. And got the Escalade. Yeehaw. Okay, I am going to start hitting it up just like that. I think we're going right for the Escalade. Sure is nice out. Well, if you don't mind the cold. I don't really mind the cold. This, this Escalade's awesome. But the motor, as you can see, this is going to be the hardest part to clean. But that's going to look so nice with that back there all scrubbed off. So nice. But this super clean car, everything worked. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, I'm going to grab my camera and do it to it. All these cars here are for sale. If you haven't been watching this channel much, get on it. If you're somewhere and you want to get a nice, cheap, cheap car, truck, I mean SUV, all-wheel drive or whatever, right here, this S10, I'll make you a steal. When I'm coming back, I'll give you a price on it. Okay, I told you I'd have a price. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get one. I'm going to show you a little bit. Beautiful truck. Everything on it. There's a couple dings right here and such. Clean inside, LT, fully loaded. Not only that, they just put tire little titties everywhere. They just got that done. It's a nice truck. Get this thing before I get it on eBay. Um, it's got a couple little things here or there that I can tell you. You can call me, Nathan, 406 544 6919. And. I'm going to get a couple pictures. You can add me on Instagram. It's Instagram.com forward slash Cereal Marshmallows. And I'm just going to get some pictures of this motor because I'm here to tell you the stuff I mix is of the best stuff around. I've always made vitamins and um, nutritional supplements. Well, since 96, when the Disha Act passed, and you were able to legally bottle and sell herbals, etc. Well, since then, I've been doing that. And it's played into my detailing products big time. So, that's that. <laughs> Engine detail. I have a lot of people that comment on here and say you shouldn't be getting the car wet. Motor, getting the motor wet. Well, I wholeheartedly disagree. That's why the good Lord made water. And I'm gonna be standing in it by the time I'm done here if I don't back it up a little bit. One thing you want to do, in my opinion, is always have your car running, or truck, or whatever it is you're talking about. And not only that, don't be standing in a puddle, but leave the thing running. I'm going to try out my heater. I know the AC works. It'd be better standing in the sun. That's another thing, when I'm making these videos, Tell you what, I really try and do them good and it takes a little bit of extra time. It takes me five times as much time to make a, to get a job done trying to make a video. A hundred percent. Five times as much time. But, 
I do enjoy it. What I enjoy about it is the talking to people about the stuff. All the subscribers I've met over these years, awesome. Unreplaceable. Thank you, is what I'm saying. You want to get it all wet and blow it all off first. Be careful of any electronics. And what I mean by electronics is even your plugs there. Be careful. Don't use a hose for this and pour something on it. There's a difference between pouring water on something and brushing past it. With these, you want to stay away. It's okay to get them wet. You have to do a little working with that. That light's flashing on and off. But get everything cleaned up at first. And then you'll get a little bit farther ahead. Meaning, get water on it before you get to the greaser. Right here, be careful. All it takes is a quick blow. And like I'm saying, don't focus on it a lot. Just rip it off real quick. You get down the engine parts, and you can focus on it a lot. Now with a power washer, watch out on belt. You don't want to blow through it, ever. <laughs> Once you got it all wet down, time to do it to it. So I'm gonna let it run for a sec and get going a different way. Where do you go? I don't even know where he parked. I mean, I finished this last night. I stayed up and got this done. The outside's done. We could take an old pad and buff the inside of the box. Um, but this has to be washed, do the lights, tires and wheels and get the running boards so I mean we got a bit yeah can you buff them? no not really look at the other side I got them kinda but I got it got, I got it by like doing the rest by hand but I'm gonna get I gotta finish this Find that big, nice brush and all the brushes I need over here. I got it right here. Help me start scrubbing on the motor and finish that up. There's another couple brushes around here. I'm missing the handle for that. It's somewhere. I don't know. Do whatever. I used um, real cleaner and degreaser bolt on this. Um, you don't want to get the grill cleaner on your car. And I don't use the big, easy off kind name brand, which will probably be stronger than this 99 cent store stuff I'm using. Be careful stickers and such, like that one, it's coming off. So just in the whole gist of thing, throwing in a part two or part three on this video or whatever it is now, all the rubber and plastic and metal parts that you can reach, scrub down. And by using a variation of brushes, you'll be able to get them more and more and more and more. 
I even use toothbrushes on this stuff sometimes. And these bigger motors like this on these chevries, chevries, it's usually easy to get in there and get most of it. So, just scrub the heck out of it. And that's pretty much what this stage is all about. Now, after I've got them scrubbed down pretty good and know where I am, I usually give it a, a quick regrease. Now, see, this is 99 cent store. Rinso! But I'm totally, totally okay with getting water on the motor, especially if it's running and such. Once you've busted it open and you've got it all scrubbed down, stuff comes off a lot easier too, and it gives your degreaser a chance to really get down in there and bust more stuff loose. See this stuff, just blow past it fast with your power washer. You don't want to get direct pressure directly into your fuse relay center. Not smart. So, that's pretty much that. Next, I forgot to start it. Start your power washer up and do it to it. I got it for you. We got a gas? No. It just wanted to take off on me. Absolutely beautiful. Don't worry about steam and smoke. That's part of why you got it running. Warm it up. Get it all going like it should. Now this motor is right now about 95% done. And it looks good. Now also, clean it up like this, you'll be able to see within the first couple days any problem areas. Once you inspect your motor again, you'll see if there's any areas that need to re-hit up. Getting these tanks clean and stuff like this is all the difference in the world though. It makes your car look so much better. That's that, man. We're done. I'm going to let it warm up more, dry off because of the warming up and such. And I'm probably going to go get myself a, a burger. A burger. Sausage McMuffin with egg white is what I'm talking about. But Danny's doing the mothers in it and fathers in it. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Hang on a sec here. Use this stuff, Danny. It's better. Okay. Yeah, that's way better. Better than mothers? That's right. You can find it on my website that I'm going to get up here and then I'm doing it. This time I'm doing it and I'll be selling the products 100%. Well, I'll clip more in a little while here. Talk to you soon. Well, motor's done. Danny's been doing the wheels and tires. What's up, Daniel? What's up, bro? Did you get under the front? Um, under, yeah, pretty good. I mean, I rolled the no. wheels both sides. Uh-huh. Did you get under the front? I didn't get underneath. Front? No? I didn't get underneath the 
oil panel and things, but all the wheel wells are gone. Shocks. Tires up front. I mean, I think we're going to have to mothers out some of the last shit. Yeah. It's just, this shit's just fucking caked on there. Even, I even tested this on one little tiny piece. <laughs> and do shit. Here, I need to spray this real quick, bro. I'm going all the way around. Here, I didn't want to land. That's what she said. Yeah. I'm all, we'll roll over here, sweetheart. Me? No. <laughs> she didn't want to lay in the puddle. Why I gotta be dirty? Okay, I can tell you right there. Am I getting you? I'm trying. Oh, I'm oh, hang on. Let me get closer then. <laughs> My high quality hose here. We all got high quality hose over here. This brush is fucking lit. You don't have any. What's wrong with the brush? Man, I tell you, every time I come out, you put me to work doing shit. Come on, dude. You're killing me, small. Like new. Probably ain't never been cleaned. Ain't never been cleaned. Ain't never been cleaned. Ain't even never gonna be as clean as it was brand new as it's gonna be when we pretty much. It's important to keep the power washer the exact same distance away. Of course, as exact as you can. 
How's that? Watch this. Night and day. Now your armor all or vinyl renewer or whatever kind of a quality product you're gonna put over that can actually get in there and rehydrate it and get into the pores of it. Did you gonna finish him today? We'll get the rest of the mothers, like you say. Okay. Um. So what now? You're done with this? Um. Can I do this while you do that? Kind of get everything out of the way, and then back that up. The white truck. You want it back up? Ass in right about there. Okay. Crank it a little bit once you get out past the trailer and the truck. We want to put it like this. Right there. Yeah. There? Not that far over. Just come in. Yeah, right in there. No, not like that. Turn that way a bit. Right there. Do it again. Right there. Just back it up like this. Hey, watch me. Just back it up like this. That's it. Just back it up like that. Fun, little fun, little fun. You see, sometimes when I leave those on, I'm gonna leave that one on. I actually am. Come on, dude! Come on! Sitting there worried about it idling rough at startup. This is 1989. There ain't nothing wrong with the thing, it's wrong with the driver. Oh, Craig. You got all flooded now? Sitting there dinking around, playing games? We ain't playing no games. Get your laundry out the front and we'll wash it up. Watch this. I love this, in case you can't tell.
is all wet, you can really tell. Should be a real sponge up on the... It'll take a few minutes. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, check this out. A couple of things I want to go over. One, are we going to do the inside of the bed? Move, 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 let's go. Keep your eyes open. Um. Don't run the sponge over this very much because it'll rip it up. Yeah. But this right here, look, look at it. There's a lot of it there. So the more it can be done, the better. But it comes down to amount of quick too. Look how much is here. And it needs to be hand gone over. I'll do it with a rag. Real quick. With the rag while we're doing it, you know. Like we're talking fast, dude. Okay. So like I'm gonna get ahead of you. Okay. With hitting all the cracks. I'll start working on the rail. Yeah, to start back here. Back wheels? Yeah. And the centers? Um, the centers I tried, but dude, it, it needs a uh, steel wool.
It's like our third wash of this beautiful truck. Falling in love more every time. <laughs> Probably burn up about three gallons of gas though. No, it's overstated the gas on these. You're not driving it to commute. Driving it to pull stuff. Oh, nice cold AC. Nice cold AC. Get the other side and I'll start washing. Get the other side and I'll start washing. Jeez, dude! What? What? Yeah, yes. Okay. God, this is fun. This is a lot of truck too. Of it's like washing three Ford Focuses. Real estate. Bro. Real estate. <laughs> it helps to have two on it, bro. It's really good. Yep. That's what I call them bitches. Bitches. It helps to have two on one. You better watch your mouth. You say that kind of. You won't say that on Facebook. No, I don't. Somebody's gonna find you. Hear you saying that, and. Bro, I gotta, you know, portray the goody two shoe. You gotta portray the goody two. Yeah, that's my family. I got a hundred family members on there. You gotta be two faced is what you're saying. Like fucking family. I can't be swearing all over it. I'm of the little one. I got nine and ten year old cousins on there, bro. Catholic. So that's what happened to you. You were touched. Catholic, so that's what happened. You were touched. <laughs> <laughs> now, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh. back window and kind of top surface and I'll keep going on the front. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, you do. 
What do I have? You got that ladder right there to get on the front where I can step on the wheel well. Or the, the door well. to make it across this one. the back window, right? Yep. Start doing the grill and see what... Dude! Take it easy on my one! Right. Not that tough! I do that too on accident. Yeah, start on the side. Yeah, no. This is the last of it. You get the side of the hood? Yep. I just didn't get the lip, probably. You gotta get on that ladder and get the roof. I'll do that right now. Whenever you leave something, you're gonna do another thing. Always finish the panel you're on. Overlap a bit, but finish that like before you run away. It'll make things a lot easier. See it. Better watch your language. Turn the one, man. Come on, make it go whoosh. Oh, shit. For fuck's sake. Jesus. Yes, my child. Jeez. Dude, come on. Look, look, look. You're going to fucking kill yourself. It's like dealing with a little three-year-old. You can't be serious here, bro. I don't know. 
Well, that's okay. You don't put your fucking dumb hand on the end to fucking check it. Jeez, dude, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. Here you go. I was holding Here, now you pull the trigger. Yeah! <laughs> This whole side. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. You're watching. You gotta watch what you're doing, bro. You're wrapping it around everything and you're yanking on my cord. Don't yank my cord. The front grill, too. The front! Okay, water blade, water blade. Went for the extra credit. One on a car guy. One on a car guy .com. We almost got this done. And we're boogieing on along. He's went high, I've went low. This thing is just about cleaned up as good as it's gonna go. Yeah, I know. That rhymed. I'm gonna click this off because I ain't got much more to add. Just making a very quick look at that great chemical just eating that garbage off there. Eating it off there, not even scrubbing it yet. And that's how you're chemicals for tires should do is it should eat the stuff off like that before you're even starting to scrub I'll clip more in in a second a little bit more Yeah, buddy. We're all washed up. Okay. You got it. I moved too soon, huh? No, I was taking one more. So I didn't fire. Okay. Okay. Let's um. Can we? Okay. Hey, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna be a little needy bitch and ask for water. Well, like, let's get the stuff moved first. Yeah, whatever. I, where do you want? Like, I want to move this stuff that way. No, I'm moving the truck forward. Just get it out of the way that way. Am I past the hose? Yeah, well, I don't know. This thing's fucking quarter mile long. Can you pull that forward over the puddle right before the hose? I'm gonna get that Escalade washed too, and we're done. Done for the afternoon, that is. Yeah, buddy. So now you need a water. Yeah, like a little bit. We'll get this 
washed and then we we'll have be... enough gas to get through this one. We're not gonna, we're gonna have to grab some gas. Grab your credit card while you're in there.